welcome to another episode this time on project management concept and which is generally used well known and quite complex as well that's about the earned value analysis also called as earned value management so view through the entire presentation to understand it better i'll be also having a small case study to make it uh, interesting and uh, so that you understand it better as well once you have baselined the project for your schedule for your cast then as you start executing the project you need to do earned value analysis at a periodic point of time or whenever required so that you can check whether the project is on track that is on schedule as planned or whether it is lagging on the schedule or it is ahead of schedule and whether there is a cost overrun or whether it is on track of the budget all this can be done through the earned value analysis so apart from the uh, triple constraint that is scope schedule and the cost to maintain that yes you need to do the earned value analysis so you have different costs one is the plan cost that is the which is the approved cost plant value the approved uh, cost for the work package also known as budgeted cost of the work schedule so this is plant value is always known as the budget and then comes the earned value that is when you execute the project so based on the budget you would be executing the project but whether it has really uh, whether it has gone as per the plan say for example you are making you're supposed to make one table per day but you have completed just half the table yes you are like naturally the example is you are lagging behind you are supposed to complete one furniture that is one table but you have just completed half the work so naturally you are lagging behind yes if one cast of the table is 100 that is what is should be have been you have completed at the end of the day but you have completed only 50 percent of it then it is 50 dollars only though you have spent 100 dollars of uh, that but uh, the earned value is only 50 of it i mean that is the actual cost you have uh, spent about 100 maybe on your labor but then earned value because since you have completed only half of the table the earned value becomes um, 50 dollars that is 50 percent so the actual cost incurred for the execution of the work package at any any specified time is the actual cost so remember this terms these terms are um, quite interchange that is the BCWS that is the plant value budget cost of work performance that is for the earned value so you need to remember this one easiest way to remember this one is earned value is something like for work performance actual cost is simple because you mentioned it is mentioned actual cost of work performance so plant when you uh, when you want to recollect plant value with bcw look at the budgeted cost plant value is budgeted earned value is work performance the actual cost here you have actual cost of work performance so that is what is um, used either pv ev ac or bcw or bcws bsws bcwp and ac WP. So I have just highlighted this one just to indicate plan value, budget, earned value is work performance, actual cost, anyway you have actual cost of work performed. Because when you take up any of the certification program, these could be interchanged, interchanged and uh, just to um, indicate some kind of a confusion in the minds of the reader. So these are the formulae 
of uh, the schedule variance, cast variance, schedule performance index, cast performance index, um, and uh, finally to complete performance index. So schedule when it is um, equal to one, then it is both of them are on track. That is uh, EV divided by PV. It is on track because there is no schedule variation. Suppose you want to make one table is the plan and you are making one table on a day. Naturally, there is no schedule variance. There is no cost variance also because one table $100 is the effort and earned value because it is $100. There is no deviation then one divided by one because one table and one table one is the earned value because naturally it is going to be one or say for example if you take it in the dollar sense hundred dollars is the plan it earns a value the actual work done is hundred for hundred dollars hundred dollars by hundred is again one similarly cost performance index also um, it is one but whereas if you are assuming if you are lagging behind if it is earned value is uh, only 50 and uh, this is uh, plan value is 100 since numerator is uh, lesser so naturally it will be in the decimal point so less than one you are lagging in the uh, schedule and similarly you are spending more and the actual cost will be 100 whereas again if it is just 50 you are lagging behind so that way yes you are over budgeted you you have gone be, beyond the budget what was actually planned so in that case you are uh, lagging behind in schedule and over spending if you are doing um, work less than what was planned or intended just like Instead of making one table, you have worked only half the job is done. Yes, naturally, you are, there is a scheduled performance index which is less than one. Cast performance index is less than one. There is something like, this is one more uh, topic which is to complete performance index. That is, what is that you need to do to ensure that you are completing, though you are working behind schedule, what is that you have to do perform so that you you are able to go back and complete suppose say for example you are at only half the work is done it is now um, just point five in this case what is the effort you, you need to put to complete the task so you have to put more effort maybe instead of one table you got to construct 1.5 table to complete the work so that is as far as the um, option one is concerned. Sometimes due to the flawed estimate, estimate itself is wrong. Naturally, you need to get stakeholders uh, agreement or you need to get the budget and you need to revise the estimate. So something like, okay, with um, $100, um, uh, it is not possible to construct, um, to make a table, it requires $150 and 1.5 days it is going to take then that is the revised estimate so you need to use um, EAC minus that is the estimate to complete that is the revised budget so for now I mean um, could be a little confusing ideally we can take an example and same table example we'll take and uh, we'll um, try to calculate so that it is becomes much more easier to understand this concept so earlier we saw this um, calculation or the formulas and uh, generally we tend to forget so if you are trying to get certified so this formula is quite important so you need to have um, kind of a better option would be to memorize them and keep looking at it keep working on some of the example then you'll understand it better 
So having looked at the formula, the easiest way, as I said, is take an example and work through it. The understanding becomes much more easier and effective. So we will see an example. So it's a 10 day project to build 10 tables. So that means uh, you have you have a plan cast. This is the plan cast 400 per day, one table per day. That's a planned activity. One table is expected to complete it. 400 because labor per hour is 50. So that is where eight hours per day. So that is 400 per day, one table. And if you look at it, this is the total cost. That is 4000 USD is the total cost. So you have the planned value. Assume, okay, you, this is what is agreed between you and client. And this is baseline. You have a activity that is one table. So 10 day project, one table per day. And plan cost is 400 per day. That is what is planned. 4000 is the total budget. So this is baseline. If you take it as a project, this needs to be baseline. This is where baseline meaning you agree with the client. This is what is going to happen. You employ the resources to construct. So now, when you execute, maybe you are a project manager, multiple projects. So you come back on the end of the fourth day, you find only four, two tables are done on fourth day. Four days are complete. At the end of the uh, fourth day, you find only two tables are completed. And um, the even the consultant or the contractor has said instead of four, four days, it is actually it needs to be 32 hours. So instead of uh, 32 hours, they have consumed 40 hours. So, so it's about uh, 8 hours of overtime. So $50 and that means 2000 USD. So instead of 8 hours per day, so it is 32 hours should be there, but they have consumed 40 hours. So you have uh, the actual cost of uh, 2000. USD is the actual cost. So if you ask uh, the planned is 32 hours, which is should be um, should be 32. Um, I mean, uh, it should be 32 into um, 50 is what it should be the plan. So what needs to happen is um, is there a project variance? So you need to find out what is the planned value. What is the actual? What is the earned value? Here, if you look at it, you have built only two tables. So that means um, you have not built four tables, is what you should have built. You have built only two tables. So if you look at it, so it's somewhere the planned value. If you look at it, it is uh, 400 into 2, yes, 800 USD. An actual cost spent is 2000 USD. This indicates that you are behind schedule. So with this, try to calculate what is the schedule variance, what is the cost variance, schedule performance index, cost performance index. Try to work out on your own and then we will get into the next presentation. Thank you. Stay tuned worked through that uh, example and found out uh, whether we have a schedule variance, cost variance, what is a schedule performance index, cost performance index. So now we will validate um, with uh, whatever you have calculated with my discussion as well. So we said like uh, at the end of the four days, only two tables was made. That itself indicates that uh, there is a schedule variance. We are not on track. So if you look at it, the earned value, it's only 800 USD. 
Whereas the actual cost is um, we have consumed more eight hours of overtime and uh, it's about 2000 USD is spent totally. Plant is supposed to be only uh, 32 hours, 1600 USD is what should have been sent, spent and you should have made four tables but there itself there is again we have uh, having a scheduled variance and uh, of course there is going to be a cost variance as well because actual cost we are spending more we are making actually lesser uh, in quantity as well let's substitute with the values with the um, with this schedule variance SV which is EV minus PV so it's 800 minus 1600 it's minus 800 the negative number is indicates that we have behind schedule next comes the cost variance cost variance is EV minus um, C, CV and again this is uh, a negative earned value is very less earned value uh, is 800 whereas this is you have spent over um, 1000 that is 50 percent a negative number um, indicates that you are over the budget that is meaning you are spending more there is not going to be any cost variance at all so ideal condition what should be the cost variance the answer should be it should be zero so means uh, whatever the actual cost should be in the whatever is initially planned that should be actually earned as well in this case it is negative indicated that you are over spending suppose if you are doing more work than what is actually uh, spent then it will be a positive number here it is negative so you are spending more at is one point another point is also behind schedule which means uh, the project is just uh, behind the schedule and over the budget and that is where if you look at the schedule performance index of ev minus pv it is 0 0.5 number less than indi one indicates that you are behind schedule and similarly if you look at cost variance it is 0 0.4 800 by the actual cost it is 0 0.4 the number indicates that you are over spending so one is what needs to be at um, the plant value i mean the cost performance index of one indicates that you are on track on budget same is the case with schedule uh, um, performance index of uh, one meaning that you are on schedule so in this case you are behind budget and spending over budget so you need to some do something to bring it back to uh, the track so that is where to complete performance index tcpi will be uh, useful say for example this is the formula budget at complete minus ev budget at complete minus ec so if you substitute it, these values it is coming 1.6 that means you have to have um, 1.6 to achieve the target meaning you need to make more than a table maybe uh, more than a table you need to complete in the remaining because four days of work is already done in the balance whatever is the planned six days because 10 days the total duration of that project so in the balance six days you should ensure that uh, more than uh, above 1.5 so one and a half tables you can make something like one table is complete half the work of the next table needs to be completed more than half the table needs to be completed so that you are able to complete within that project on the 10 days time this is a common scenario in any project at any point of time you might be lagging behind so you need to 
I mean, you need to do the earned value analysis and try to ensure that you need to make them, um, I mean, make the consultant, your contractors, put sufficient effort, monitor them and bring it back the project in track. So very common. There could be cases wherein the estimates are wrong. So if the estimates are wrong, this is where, I mean, whatever monitoring you do, you may not be in a position to complete 1.6 uh, tables, that is one table plus another half of the table. So it might not happen. Maybe there is some dependency which, which is not being taken care during the estimation stage. So in that case, yes, as a project manager, sometimes you get additional budget. So in this case, it is 1200 USD is the additional budget over 4,000 that is for 10 days plus 1,200 becomes 5,200 that is the that is EAC that is expected at complete revised budget basically revised budget. So if you do that then yes the schedule itself is getting extended say for example it's about uh, 3 days of additional extension you get. 1200 USD you have been offered with. In that case, yes, you can still complete the project instead of working, ensuring, I mean, I mean, going behind the your consultant or your contractors putting pressure on them to complete the work instead of that. Since there is additional budget, you can go ahead and complete the project with the additional budget. So this method is something like there is a there is a flawed estimate, then you come out with the estimate to complete. Additionally, you got to revise your plan, baseline the plan, and then um, work on it so that you complete on the on the track on your revised schedule on the revised cast. That is the revised baseline. So now I hope you are clear with the various um, earned value analysis and this is quite common, this is very practical, um, this sometimes, not sometimes, many times this is overlooked by project manager, this is very critical, um, the earned value analysis. So ensure that you have a good understanding of earned value analysis, whether you are a, a practical project manager or even if you want to get certified current value analysis is very important from a PMP certification standpoint. Thank you.